An historic meeting of Catholic leaders wrapped up recently. It was the first time lay people, including women, voted alongside bishops about the future of the church. And a major issue discussed was whether women should be able to be clergy. Our Catlin Gray spoke to Minnesotans who traveled halfway around the world to support that goal. For hundreds of years, the roles of priest and deacon in the Catholic Church have remained off limits to women, but there's growing momentum to change that. I'm a lifelong Catholic. I've experienced as a woman in ministry, and I've certainly seen many other women in ministry who have a sense of call. We have gifts that the church needs. Jane Cavanaugh and Rhonda Miska, both from the Twin Cities, traveling to the Vatican in October with Discerning Deacons, a nonprofit working to open the conversation about allowing women to become deacons. The gifts are needed, so let us address the need. As part of their efforts in Rome, they held an educational session for the delegates participating in a meeting of church leadership called the Synod of Bishops. For women to serve as deacons is not something new and novel. It's really returning to a practice in the early church. The voting delegates, which for the first time included lay people, were tasked with weighing church priorities. Kavanaugh says they also met with delegates, including Cynthia Bailey Manns from St. John of Arc in Minneapolis, Kavanaugh's church. She is very involved with discerning deacons. The other delegates that we talked to more on a casual basis, we had to kind of feel them out for where they were on the spectrum. It's a big, big church. So our MO was to just build relationships. The final document approved by delegates after a month of meeting says, quote, it is urgent to ensure that women can participate in decision-making processes and assume roles of responsibility in pastoral care. Did pass with, with a two-thirds majority. That was good news for women. I'm encouraged. While not set in stone yet, both tell us it's a step forward. This is not the end of the game. This is halftime. A call for continued discernment to continue to walk the road, to continue to listen to um, various voices in the church around the world on this question, um, I think is very good news and is very encouraging and certainly motivates me to just, just keep going. The document also calls for research into this issue with the results ready by the Assembly of the Synod of Bishops next year. In a statement to a St. Paul and Minneapolis Archdiocese, Archbishop Bernard Hebda tells us he welcomed the recognition of, quote, the importance of discussing ways for women to exercise their gifts to the church and went on to say he appreciated the report's recognition that there continues to be disagreements on the question of whether women can be ordained as deacons. He says he looks forward to seeing the results of the research. Lindsay. Callan, thank you so much.